Ms. Wilson, you're applying for parole again today, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is your fourth time applying for parole in the last three years? Yes. Okay. I want to understand what's different about this time. Well, I actually had a birth where I was still incarcerated. I have a baby I have not really got to be attached with. So I have not been able to be a mother to my child. I haven't even really been able to hold my child. So I'm trying to get back home to my child. It means a lot to me. Okay, I understand that, but uh, with all due respect, as admirable as motherhood is, motherhood is not a reason for parole. You were actually about to be a mother. The last time you applied, you applied because you were about to give birth. It was still denied. And you've, you've had good behavior, but not all parole gets granted. You know, your husband works a lot. We're, we're worried about certain things with his involvement and certain uh, alleged gangs and communities. So I need to know what's different about this parole. You're a mother. You've been a mother. I understand we've all made choices, and I need to know what's different about this parole. Well, what's different is, while being incarcerated, my child's father has passed away. So I am the sole parent. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, I'm very sorry to hear that. Very different. Yeah, that does that does make things different. I do, however, need a character witness. Do you, have you brought one today for me to even consider this? And I understand the change in circumstances very serious, but um, do, your attorney would you like to call yes. up? Ms. Hanson, would you like to call some? Yes, I would like to call up um, Ms. Wilson's sponsor. Okay. Yes, you may approach. Uh, can you please state your name for the record, ma'am? Yes, my name is Molly O'Hanley. Okay, Molly, it's nice to meet you. How long have you known the defendant? I've known her for about five years. About five years, and how do you know her? I'm her sponsor. Sponsor, okay, that's great. Now, I need to know what kind of uh, change, any information that you have that would lead me to, I mean, quite frankly, grant this parole that has been denied so many times. I understand there's a change in circumstances, but I need to know whether or not you believe Miss Wilson is a danger to society or in any risk of repeating her past crimes or mistakes. No, I don't think she has a, is any risk of doing that at all. I've known Miss Wilson <laughs> for, for five years and I, during that entire time, I watched her completely change, make so many new choices, and just, she's grown so much, particularly when she found out she was pregnant. She started really taking her work in very, very seriously. And even though when she was in prison, she was really taking her work orders extremely seriously. I would visit her, and just the way that she was acting and her behavior, she feels, she just has changed so much since I've known her. And since she's become a mother, all she's cared about is being able to get out and stay out of prison. To be with her baby, yeah? To be with her baby, yeah. Okay, Molly, you may be seated. Miss O'Hanley, you may be seated. Okay. Well, yeah, I just want to say I really want to get out to be with my baby. My baby is everything to me. I have changed everything my whole life is changed because of my child. Um, I will really, if you do me this on you will never see my face again. I really want to be with my child. I am changed all the way. Please listen, if I don't get out, my baby's going to foster care. Like, I do not want my baby to go to foster okay. care. Okay, okay, I've heard enough. Yes. In anticipation of today's hearing, I have made preparations in the event that I did decide to grant this parole so that that would not happen to your child. Based off the witness testimony, your parole is granted, you may turn around the face and <laughs>